Hello everyone, welcome back. Are you looking for some fully funded scholarship opportunity to pursue a master's and PhD degrees in South Korea? Then this video is definitely for you. Today we will uncover the incredible Kai scholarship in South Korea for the year 2024. Let me introduce Kai's briefly first. The Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, which is known as KAIST, is a globally renowned institution where innovation thrives. And guess what? This scholarship is your ticket to this world-class institution and this is fully funded. No tuition fee. Moreover, they provide housing and living expenses allowance so you can only focus on your studies. But it's not just about the money, it's about being a part of global community, collaborating with brilliant minds and the visionary professors from all over the world, and making memories that will last for a lifetime. Are you ready to redefine your future? Stay tuned, in this video we will show you the application process, field of studies in which you can apply, scholarship benefits, eligibility criteria, and some great tips to make your application stand out. Let's dive into the Kai Scholarship Application official website together and explore all the necessary details to apply for this great opportunity. So let's get started. So this is the official website for the uh, Kai Scholarship application. So let's start with the first question, fields of uh, uh, studies in which you can apply. So here I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video from where you can explore all the available programs for this scholarship. For example, here we can see College of Natural Sciences under which you can have a physics, mathematical sciences, chemistry life science and bioengineering so under this tab or in this school you can apply in biological sciences graduate schools of medical science and engineering brain and cognitive sciences uh, we are mainly interested for engineering because my main audience are engineers so the college of engineering so here you can apply in mechanical engineering aerospace engineering electrical engineering robotic programs uh, there is also option for civil environmental engineering uh, environmental and uh, energy technology program uh, bio and brain engineering similarly there is a option for chemical and biomolecular engineering so you just have to explore uh, this uh, page just to find out your field of studies so if you find your field of studies so uh, just uh, click on that and have all the information related to that so after that uh, the next question is how to apply for this scholarship for that you just have to go on the top ribbon of this website and click on admissions so when you click on admissions so the very first tab that opens it says eligibility criteria so who is eligible for this uh, scholarship so there is only two conditions for eligibility very first condition is that you should not be a korean citizen okay the second uh, 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 eligibility criteria is that uh, the academic qualification for example if you are applying for a master's degree uh, you must hold a bachelor's degree and if you are applying for a PhD program then you must hold a master's degree okay and the third uh, criteria is the English uh, language uh, proficiency so here uh, they are asking for English uh, language uh, certification, IELTS and TOEFL, but if you are uh, uh, if you are coming from a country where the English language is the first language, obviously there is no need. But if you are coming from a country where the official language is English, for example, in Pakistan, India, uh, Philippines, so here is the list of countries 
which are exempt for the English language test that is IELTS or TOEFL. So for example, if you are from India, from Pakistan, uh, Sudan, so you just find out your country if your country lies in this list that I am just uh, focusing now. So if your country is in this list, then you don't need to show or to attend uh, or to present the IELTS results or TOEFL results, you just simply need a letter from your university uh, testifying that your medium of instruction was English for your undergraduate or graduate uh, uh, studies. So these are the eligibility uh, requirements to apply for this uh, scholarship. So after the eligibility, uh, we can have a timeline to apply for this uh, scholarship for that just come on the left ribbon on this website and click on timeline so here we have a general application uh, timeline but let's see for the year 2024 because we are going to apply for this year and for the KAIST international graduate admission scholarship program the uh, application period will start 24th of august so the application acceptance is not started yet so guys i'm just uh, uh, making this video a bit earlier so that you can prepare your application well uh, so you can have a greater chance to win this scholarship but the deadline to apply for this scholarship is 14th of September. Uh, there is other opportunity uh, other than the KAIST scholarship. There is uh, a global Korea scholarship program that also supports to study in KAIST but uh, this scholarship is from Korean uh, government. Uh, I'm not going to uh, give the details of this scholarship in this video. I will mainly focus on KAIST international graduate admission uh, scholarship program okay so for that deadline is 14th of September so after having the deadline uh, how you can apply so when uh, during the application period between 24 to uh, 14th of September you just have to click on apply on the left hand side okay so when you click on it then this new page will open okay but at the moment uh, the uh, application uh, starting time is not open because it will uh, start from 24th of august so i cannot uh, create uh, a login on it but after 24th of august you just have to come on this web page and create your account and after that when you create your account login and then start your application here submit your uh, uh, documents and your results for your selection will be announced on the same web page okay so this is the very simple way to apply for this uh, scholarship so let's uh, get back to the main website but so far we have not seen the uh, financial support what they are offering for that just click on financial support and then go to the scholarship and the KAIST scholarship. So on this page, you can have all the information related to the KAIST scholarship. And they are saying that around 94% of the international students gets uh, the KAIST scholarship. So there is a pretty much higher chances for you to be selected for this uh, uh, great scholarship. Again, they are saying the eligibility requirements and the scholarship package. Eligibility requirements we have already seen in a previous uh, tab. And uh, the scholarship package is that if you are uh, a master student, you will receive uh, 3,50,000 Korean uh, wong per month as a stipend. Okay so but if you are a phd uh, student and uh, phd scholar then this uh, uh, the monthly stipend is four lakh korean won and moreover you will have a monthly national health insurance uh, premium so i mean your uh, health insurance will be covered 
and the application deadline the selection criteria application deadline i already mentioned it's it will start from 24th of august and you can apply until uh, 15th of september now maybe you are thinking okay so we can apply for this scholarship so maybe you are wondering what kind of documents uh, we have to uh, submit at the time of application for that uh, i'm sharing this uh, one page pdf file in the description of this video now i will briefly explain which documents you will need to apply for this opportunity when you fill the online application for very first thing is your passport then the photocopies of your parents uh, id indicating their nationality and certificate of family registration indicating your relationship with your parents so this is a bay form in pakistan uh, but i don't know in other countries what they call it but this certificate will also be needed regarding the uh, academic uh, uh, documentation you will need a certified copies of your degree and transcripts from the college or university that you attended so if you have not earned your degree yet but you can replace it with the certificate or the official letter from your university uh, mentioning the expected uh, graduation date okay other than that um, if you are coming from a country where the english is not the first language or not the official language or not uh, the medium of instruction of your previous uh, education then you will need to provide IELTS. but if you are coming from a country like india pakistan bangladesh where uh, medium of education is english then you just need one letter from your university mentioning that your previous education was in english medium that will be enough no need for ielts or toefl when you have all these uh, documents then you just have to go to the online application uh, print out okay and cv with uh, uh, the proofs uh, two recommendation letter from your academic advisors or professors okay and if you have any extracurricular activity then you have some achievements like honors awards uh, if, and if you already have some uh, uh, professional uh, experience then you will need employment certificate with proofs so you have to uh, submit all these uh, uh, application uh, documents uh, with online okay that's all for today's video i hope you like this video and some of you are definitely going to apply for this great opportunity if you still have some question uh, you can write in the comment section i will try to answer so until next video take care bye bye